Hello everyone, Richard back for some more Witcher <coughs> 3. I need to refresh myself, it's been a while. Ah. Yes, we are doing a tower full of mice. Um, so we're doing some side quests. And the reason I'm doing side quests first is because the XP you get for it is really low. So I won't out level um, content. So uh, what will happen is... I, the cycle is I do some main quests. Where the hell is the boat? Oh god, that was the wrong... Oh, it's right here. I don't, I'm not really interested in... Where's the boat? There's supposed to be a boat here. Uh, oh. Ugh, I can't see. It's really dark. There it is. So if you do side quests first, um, you're gonna level really slowly, and then you're gonna do main quests and level very quickly. <clears throat> and in some ways, side quests are harder than the main quests. So this is kind of doing, uh, this is kind of doing things in a harder way. Because there's a lot of bosses and monsters, and some of them have special abilities. So the flow is, you do a part of the main quest, then you switch to side quest, and then you go finish the main quest. And then you move on to the next zone. And then uh, you'll do higher level side quests when appropriate. So we're just on a boat. Traveling to Fike Isle. Carol, can you hear me? How slow is it? Where are you? Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait, this Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition! <laughs> Wonderful. So that's Fike Isle that we're heading towards. So you can fast travel on boats, and the boat can be destroyed. I think we have rock fiends. Go. So I need necrophage oil. Are you on the aisle yet? Does the Xenobox work? Can you hear me? What? I can't hear. Great, broke already. Sheesh, short lived this way. What did you say? Let them interfere. You must be very careful. The rot fiends are dangerous. Oh man, why was my sword out? Oh, 
Ugh. Oh, there you go. If you get the chain to go right, Rot Fiends explode and take out the next Rot Fiend, which takes out the next Rot Fiend. Why am I hearing screaming? Let me read the bestiary. Are they supposed to scream? Huh. I'm not imagining things. I thought I heard it. They were screaming. Right? Weird. Okay. Rot fiends everywhere. Oh, drowners. Oh, that was... That was not good. You are correct. Man, they hit for so much. I think this level scaling is insane. that screaming Damn it. okay I need to oh I can't meditate die here, so let me put my Quinn up. What is up with the AI? I feel like the AI behavior is a little bit weirder on the PC version compared to the Xbox. The game might be slightly more buggy than on the Xbox. Can I meditate now? Thank you. Okay. I forgot to meditate before coming over here. Yeah, you have to kind of fight your way through all these monsters. We will come back here later. Show me what you got. God, there's so many enemies.
I love the music. This whole quest is really cool and really intense, which tends to be The Witcher 3 as a rule. Okay, we got ghouls. Hello. Ghouls are scary with level scaling. For sure. Ooh. Crap. I'm stuck. Tight spaces is the most difficult thing to do as a Witcher, because you're relying on dodging to not take damage. God, it used to, like if you don't put level scaling on, you get to the point where you just steamroll everything. But holy Jesus Christ, with level scaling, every fight feels super dangerous. Man, let's try Kira's lamp. Oh. Oh, crap. They left us. Look, all of them gone away. Well. What is going on right now? Oh, they left us. Look, crap. all of them gone away. Well. Why wasn't I able to dodge? Yeah, this place is extremely dangerous. They left us! Look! All of them gone when? We have to swim, come on! What about all this? We can't leave it! You go. Find a boat and come back for me. If you make it across. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Be back before you know it. Oh, what was I doing? Meditating. Oh! Oh my god! It stunlocked me. That was wild. I had meditated, and then I got stunlocked immediately <laughs> coming out of my meditation. And something weird is happening where I can't, like, dodge. Oh, it's because I have the lamp equipped. I don't think you can dodge with that. Yeah, it is, it is insanely dangerous with level scaling to be on Fike Isle. I'm like a couple of levels below all the monsters and the damage they do scales with their level 
and I don't have Griff I don't have Witcher gear yet. One weakness with The Witcher 3 is their loading screens are insanely long. I'm kind of curious why that is. His arse on silk pillows, likely be gobbling meat. <laughs> With no notion we's coming to tear him to shreds. Waste clear, lads. Adam! Was it there? So something's happening here on this aisle. This is the the Lord of Crow's Perch. Um, flood here. Can I? I thought there was. Okay, I'm just imagining things. So he fled here because of the war with Nilfgaard. So now we're seeing there's some sort of invasion planned by the locals. Oh, a water hag. This will be fun. Some bodies. Oh, look at that. I need to meditate. I'm going to be meditating a lot with uh, <laughs> enemy scaling on. There's no denying that. What the hell is going on here? <clears throat> Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie! M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So what? Uh, burning. Ah! What? No. No. Stay back! 
Don't leave me. Yeah, this game is buggier than the Xbox. It's strange how particular it is to activate the cutscene. Okay. We got some valuable stuff out of there. I always love the uh, Geralt's commentary. It's actually really insightful without being condescending. Place is full of rats, as many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on. Just Geralt, stop. You need to. <laughs> didn't come here to ask nicely. They came with weapons, yep. You gotta remember, people in Velen are starving, so, uh, the rational part of the brain is not active. What is this? Blood. Men who must have died here. Where's that? What the hell? Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And a daughter. To the top! So, these peasants... Obviously came here with murder in their heart. Understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! So you get a lot of XP for this. So, uh, there are rats everywhere. over here. They looted the place pretty good. Stairs. Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bend my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head, but one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. So, Graham, yeah. 
Looks like his daughter let Graham open the gate and so on. Is there anything I can... No. This atmosphere is amazing. What the fuck is that? You can see there's something here. Enhanced Devil's Puffball. Gold! Piles of it! I won't do the dead any good now, will it? Strange is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? Okay, that apparently was worth a lot of XP. So we're up on the tower. Oops. Let's see. Yep. The storm, damn it. We have a lot of rats. What the fuck? <laughs> Where are you? Have you got the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Secret passage. Mm, looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped, too. Oh my goodness, we're at level 10 already? Oh. I have two ability points in a slot. I think I want... Wow. Um, that sounds really interesting. Let's try this one. I might want it. I next need to see... Do I need... Sign intensity sounds a lot better, actually. What the hell? Uh... 
Uh, the Mage Alexander's Log Part 2. Day 346. I never did like rats, not because of their obscene tales, but rather on account of their lively, disturbing intelligence. They are always listening when a man believes he is talking only to himself, and what's worse, they seem to understand. A few days ago, I caught myself talking to one of them, to a particularly large black male with a torn-off ear. At first, I was overcome by panic. Was this the first manifestation of the illness? Of course, that was impossible, for I had fortified my immunity with powerful spells. Upon further consideration, I concluded it was altogether natural reflex, one even the most learned among us find hard to restrain. We, mage, we mages like to be listened to. I place the black rat in a separate cage. The time will come for it to play a part in the test. Meanwhile, it can keep me company and observe. I've noticed it looks with great concentration at the cages of its infected brethren, particularly those in the last stages of illness. Fascinating. Speaking of company, I have none besides the black rat and cannot hope for better. Besserad avoids the lavatory and has expressed his desire for his daughter to see her clear of me as well. At first I thought he feared a moral scandal, which would be risible in the extreme, but he explained the true reason in due course. It seems Annabelle has always possessed a fragile psychic constitution. Observing the ill might throw her into foul humors. The peasants taking part in the study have stopped speaking to me. I don't know what they believe this little act of defiance will serve. It does me no harm. They made for lousy conversation partners. There remains, of course, the woman, but as for her, I try to limit my contact. Day 362. My black rat has died. Today I found him curled up in his cage. I suspected he had become infected on accident. But during the autopsy, autopsy I, did uncover, I did not cover any signs of illness. He was also perfectly well fed. Strange. From a medical point of view, his death remains unexplained, something which, I must admit, irritates the scholar in me. But as mentioned previously, I'm not particularly fond of rats. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. So we found the laboratory. Look at this. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? I'm a witcher. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease, not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. 
and then I had him, my beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me, and... and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone in the dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're different. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him. Recently, the tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it, but who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. So, uh, Geralt caught her in a lie. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest, should lift it. I loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him, he must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Really sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. 
You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that... Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and who has the one would finally take pity on me? Okay. Oh my god. I did not realize... Christ. I did not realize... All those rats, Jesus Christ, these rats are nuts. Wow, those rats are nuts. These rats are no joke. Oh my god. They can almost one-shot me. It's pretty crazy. <gasps> this is nuts. Rats are like the most dangerous enemy. I can't get to that damn door because of these rats. Oh my god. Okay, who knew that the epic boss fight would be against rats? This is what happens when you turn enemy scaling on. They're so agile. Oh my god. I have to keep dodging so the rat won't get me. It's <laughs> God, these rats are so overpowered. Maybe I just have to use Igni while dodging. <laughs> oh my god, this is an epic fight. The most dangerous enemy in Witcher 3 is without question rats. The amount of damage they do is ridiculous. It's only going to get worse as I level up, too. <laughs> okay, can I actually exit now?
Thank you. Okay, let's meditate. Wow, that was really stressful. Ah, there's a quest coming up in Novigrad that... Oh my god. Rats. The most dangerous... Like, I don't even know how I'm going to do that one. Okay, where the hell is the door? Oh, right here. Oh, nope. Oh, Christ. I can't see. Nope, I already... Oh, yeah, this is right. This place is so dark and creepy. Um... Oh, there's the exit. Hello. Oh my god. I gotta... Is she poisoning me? I better read the bestiary. That would be under Plague Maiden, Spectre Oil, Yurden. Okay, so there's no way to fight the poison. Great. Great, great, great. I hope she can't regenerate her health. This is why I like double Yurden traps. Because it really helps uh, with specters that are super agile. I get a bigger radius. Oh my god! You hit so hard! Yourself. Had to fight a pester. A pester? And did you learn how to lift the curse before you lunged at her, sword in hand? Yeah, we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. Let's read A Tower Full of Mice. Um, the Isle have been haunted since that day, uh, and fishermen feared to sail the lake, putting yet another dent in the already battered local economy. The local peasants thus asked Kira to lift the curse, and she turned to the Witcher for help. Uh, okay, I didn't actually learn anything. Did we get anything with bestiary? No. What about characters? Yeah, Annabelle. Geralt encountered this young woman's ghost in the uppermost room in the Haunted Tower in Fike Isle. She told him that in life she had been the local lord's daughter. When enraged peasants stormed the tower, she feared they would ravage her honor if they found her alive, and so took a magic potion that put her in a corpse-like state of perilous. When she awoke, she found herself lying amidst the bodies of her family and servants, unable to move. She watched in helpless horror as rats feasted on a pile of corpses and began to nibble on her as well. This grisly death must have somehow put a curse on her in the tower, for her ghost had wandered in it, restless torment ever since. Geralt engaged his vast experience with such curses to search for a possible solution. Having learned that Ennevel had loved a simple fisherman named Graham, Geralt decided this man and the bond of true love two youths shared should be their salvation. Perhaps there was something in the girl's words 
that had put Geralt on his guard, or perhaps his witcher instinct simply warned him in time. Either way, Geralt knew what he was de dealing with a literal s second before Annabelle revealed her true nature. The spirit was in fact a pesta, a plague maiden, a terrible wraith which spreads death and pestilence. Graham. Graham was a simple fisherman from an even simpler village, Oriton, yet the role he played in local events was anything but. Fike Isle, the Tower of the Curse, he had been a key part of it all. Geralt had learned from Annabelle about the deep feelings the two had shared, but the rest of their tragic story only emerged later. Exactly how the young man had participated in the incident in the tower remained rather unclear, but what was certain was that he tried to defend his beloved and fled Fike Isle right after what he thought was her death. Um, so he was the one that let them in, by the way. Uh, let's see here. Fike Isle, ruined tower which is said to be afflicted by a terrible curse. Oh, God. There's so many enemies everywhere. Another ghoul, huh? Hello. So you'll notice my fighting method is primarily to use spells and bombs and uh, oils where the monster is weak against them. So you're seeing me use a lot of Igni, but that's only because I'm fighting tons of Necrophages and Velen. Igni will disappear. Um, not disappear. Igni is going to get used significantly less when I get to Novigrad. And eventually it'll get to the point where you'll see more diverse selection, even though you do see me use Yurden a lot. Um, Yurden is very useful. Um, Axie will get used a ton in Novigrad for conversations, and um, Ard will be used a lot when fighting certain types of monsters, and I'm hoping to develop Ard later to be pretty dangerous. What's this? Warnings from Nilfgaardians. Hark, good people. Nilfgaardians paid me a visit, ordered me to tell the whole village that they'll hang any man caught helping the Redanian army. Tried to tell them no one's seen a Redanian here since the times of King Metal, but they wouldn't hear it, so I'm hanging a paper with a warning all the same. Elderman. Warning. Hark. Went to Crow's Perch to do a spot of trading. Then bandits just spat on my mugs and shattered them all against the ground out of spite and gave me a sound beating on a lark. Take counsel for my misfortune and stay damn far from that perch of miscreants. Samer. That all read and know. Yester Eve, Nordor Nordrada popped her clocks. For long years she played on her pity, begging for alms and her due as a lone widow without kin. Yet t'was all lies. We went to ready her body for burial, and lo and behold, behind her stove sat a sack bursting with grain, beans, and peas, and next to it a satchel of dried apples and mushrooms. We summoned the elder at once and decided as follow. The food will parcel out to everyone in the village, and Nordrada will deny a proper burial, tossing her into the swamp with a stone tied to her legs instead, so that she may never know peace after death. Let this be assigned to all who speak for themselves, at the cost of others, and hide food from the rest of the village while covering it up with lies. Such shall be the curse of be cursed by gods and man. Request from Anora. Listen here. My man Joners left me in our pack of nippers, took whatever valuables he could carry, and walked off without a word about where to. If your path crosses his, spit in his face for me. Warning. No one breathe a word about what happened on Fike Isle. Wag your tongue and you'll sorely regret it. Man needed. God almighty, I can't send another minute of it. Every last round has got a man save me. So if you have something young and handy, able to plow a field and don't drink overly much, and most importantly of all, in need of a wife, then come see Helenda and we'll both and we'll both find what we're looking for. So this Fike Isle quest, what I love about it is that you see the perspective you get the perspective from the wealthy land the the wealthy lord and his daughter, and you're seeing some stuff from the mage, and you're also getting the perspective from the villagers. And what I love about it is it's super nuanced and this isn't so simple to understand. Like, how did this happen? 
you know, like from a moral perspective, how did the villagers like end up murdering people so casually? You know, how did the Lord find himself in a position without guards? Well, we know because there was a war, right? I want to talk. You death, damn it! I told you. Who are you? I'm a witcher. What of it? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? I want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through. Believed we'd be together. Of course. It was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a... Plain low. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. For Millie, Finch, and Faulkner, they rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But it all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. That means... Did she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was alive the whole time? But... Can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged her, open your eyes. I never thought... It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I take death over leaving her to the rats like that. But there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. Powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. God! She hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes, 
Go to the tower. Talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never left her there otherwise. A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her, and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go to the tower. Why do I have a hatchet? <laughs> okay. For some reason, I had a hatchet. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. We wander this place because of you! I've waited long enough for revenge, and now he comes to us on his own. They kill me! Don't be afraid, you'll be fine. Oh my god. Rates are no joke. Why is my sword out? What the hell? I just want my so I want a drink. Last I came through here, I still hoped Annabelle and me would... It weren't impossible. We could have been together, and now she's dead. And it's my fault. If only I'd been able to protect her. Can't change the past, but you can still help Annabelle to move on, to rest in peace. It's terrifying here. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed up. Let's get this over with. I remember the screams. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. Where the hell They're is... dead. All dead. Don't think about that. Keep walking. Need to make sure Yurden... ...is ready to go. Here we go. You have not forgotten. You've returned for me. Is... is... is that... Don't you recognize me? It's 
It's me, Annabelle. The one you abandoned, remember? Sally? I was sure you was dead. It's like no other ways I should never have left you. I'd do anything for you, I would you, you know that well, believe me, I beg you. Prove it. Kiss me. Graham, careful. At last. The curse is lifted, and Graham and Annabella are reunited. What an amazing end. Uh, you know, Graham set up the disaster at the tower, didn't know he had abandoned his love, and then had to give his life uh, to lift the curse. During his investigation of the Isle, Geralt discovered the Lord's daughter Annabelle was the key to lifting the curse. She had died, along with the others in her spirit, and now roamed the tower's empty halls. Trapped in this veil of tears by her love for a fisherman named Graham, Geralt lifted the curse by bringing Graham back to see his love. But the story did not end happily. The young man's kiss uh, dispatched the wraith into eternal slumber, but killed Graham. For as Geralt realized all too late, Annabelle's ghost had become a deadly plague maiden, a spectral sour of disease and pestilence. Oh, God, you get a lot of experience. The Mage Alexander's Log, Part 1, Day 237. My experiments continue to return results I must consider unreliable. Methological errors are not at fault. The problem lies in the shoddy and fallible research material I'm forced to work with. Despite his prior assurance, Vesserid is unable to provide me with enough moderately healthy specimens for my test. Most of the material is starved and terrified, having been dragged here straight from the dungeon. I waste a great deal of time daily washing and delousing them before I will so much as let them step foot into my laboratory. Sterility first. As Marty Sodergren managed to prove in her little-known work, the, altitude, the attitude of, pageant, of a patient undergoing treatment can have significant impact on the battle against the disease. Unfortunately, the volunteers with which I am supplied do not show sufficient comprehension let alone enthusiasm for the noble work in which they are taking part. In fact, it seems they consider the research part of their punishment. I've tried a few times, so I'm a but a poor speaker, to convince them that they are contributing to the eradication of one of the greatest plagues tormenting mankind. I had the distinct impression they understood little, but perhaps their stupor was merely a result of the early stages of the illness. Of course, it is impossible to achieve success without significant sacrifices. The overwhelming majority of them will have to lay down their trifling lives on the altar of learning, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. So this mage is a giant... And I mean, giant asshole. And, uh, he just sacrificed people for science, basically. And Kira is very interested in getting his notes, which I find interesting. Um, oh, I think there was something on Graham. Uh, the, uh, when it, uh, Geralt encountered this young woman's ghost in the uppermost room in the Haunted Tower in Fike Isle, she told him that in life she had been the local lord's daughter. When enraged parents, peasants stormed the tower, she feared they would ravage her honor if they found her alive, and so took a magic potion that put her in a corpse-like state of paral paral par paralysis. When she awoke, she found herself lying amidst the bodies, oh, I read that. Uh, the grizzly death must have somehow put a curse on the 
On her in the tower, for her ghost had wandered in in restless torment ever since, Geralt engaged his vast experience with such curses to search for a possible solution. Having learned that Annabelle loved a simple fisherman named Graham, Geralt decided this man in the bond of true love the two youths sh shared could be their salvation. Perhaps there was something in the girl's words that had put Geralt on his guard, or perhaps his witcher instinct simply warned him in time. Oh, I read that. Um, where's Graham? Uh, uh, Graham filled Geralt in on the rest of the story, one in which youthful longing for happiness lost out to fate's cruel cruelties and human greed. Having learned there was a slim chance he could save his beloved ghost, the fisherman set out at once to help the witcher lift the curse weighing down on the isle. Yet, though the evil spell was indeed broken, the story still did not have a happy ending. Despite his courage and dedication, Graham died while saving the one he had never ceased to love. So, I, what I love about this this quest is that you, you wouldn't expect um, a, a local fisherman to have courage and honor and integrity. And especially after he is the reason this slaughter happened. But the storytelling in this game is that he actually is despite his low birth and despite the fact that he's not very smart and he's made bad decisions he really does have Mary integrity the end. what a shitty way to die you know and the quest is like and the best part about this is is he shows his honor and integrity and he dies but the ending isn't he lives happily ever after the ending is he gets killed uh, in, in, in his effort to lift the curse. And that feels really fitting. Oh, Ogroid oil. Oh my god, do I need that. It feels really fitting that um, there is no happy ending. That <laughs> you know, basically... Uh, the ne the net result is that he started the slaughter and he had to give his life to end it. Um, I I think that's excellent storytelling. There's th I think this game follows the 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 idiom that there is no such thing as a free lunch, really really well. Um, there is always a consequence for your actions. <clears throat> so the other thing that's interesting here is this guy was studying the plague and he was just giving it to people and torturing them. Why is Kira so interested in that? Let's go find out. I can't see crap. This is a huge tower. Yeah, some of these side quests are massive time commitments. And the, the side quest quality of writing and acting is unbelievable. It, it rivals the main quest. And that, that's like a really compelling story. And it's uniquely told, in my opinion. And there's like multiple layers to it. Like, we've got this weird thing with the mage researching the how to fight the plague why is kira interested in it and in the middle of doing all this you discover all these little secrets about the villages the villagers the lord if you're ever wondering what happened to the lord of crow's perch you found out Geralt, just when i was starting to miss you Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you two close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded as fellow magic practitioners. Well, we had little in common in that arena. 
Oh, Alexander is one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. And news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. Fike Isle's free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? Did you mention there was a pastor involved? He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. Curse is lifted, Annabelle's spirit is left in peace. But Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still, he's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the eyes being cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... Perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbow. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. So a tower full of mice is over. So... During his investigation of the Isle, Geralt discovered the Lord's daughter Annabelle was the key to lifting the curse. She had died along with the others, and her spirit now roamed the tower's empty halls. Trapped in this veil of tears by her love for a fisherman named Graham, Geralt looked to the curse by bringing Graham back to see his love, but the story did not end happily. The young man's kiss dispatched the wraith into internal slumber, but killed Graham, for as Geralt realized... Okay, I did read that. Sweet. What would I get now? A favor for a friend, what level is that? Six. When the devil cannot go himself, he sends a woman, and then when a sorceress is indisposed, she sends a witcher to do her errands. That at least was Kira Metz's approach. Finding herself in a bit of a pinch, she asked Geralt for yet another favor. This time she needed him to track down a merchant's wagon which had been carrying some rare magic ingredients her way. They never arrived, and she had begun to fear the worst. I will do this one next. So I'm level 10, so let me see. There's only like three or four quests below level 10. Uh, so I should probably do the main quest after finishing these low level quests. Um, that was, I did one side quest and that was an entire episode of Witcher 3. Welcome to the Witcher 3. Uh, until next time, Richard out.